Have y'all ever wondered what it'd be like to be a rock star? Well, I have, and I decided to make a game about it. Sort of. The One Minute Game Jam Volume 8 occurred recently. The theme was pumpkins, and naturally, I picked my favorite pumpkin, Jeez. Billy Corgan. I immediately got started and came up with the idea that you would tap the screen and smash a pumpkin. And every time you'd smash a pumpkin, you'd get a point, and there would be a timer counting down from a minute, fitting the one minute rule. I started with some placeholder art, which is pretty rare, but I just wanted to get the idea of the mechanics like working. Using my master knowledge of coding, I placed the pumpkin in a random spot on the map at the beginning of the layout. Voila. From here I had to add the core gameplay loop of touching the pumpkin. Even in this bare state, this was a pretty fun concept, so I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing left at this point was a timer, and we got ourselves a game. Well, thanks for watching, folks. No, I'm just playing. I made some more adjustments to the timer. I wanted it to turn red in the final 10 seconds to give you like this sense of urgency that the game was almost over. To test it out, I didn't think to change the starting number, so we wait here this whole minute. But I figure I'll take this time to tell y'all. I know this is my first video in quite a while. I have been incredibly busy, and unfortunately, game development has fallen somewhat to the wayside. Uh, however, I do promise I'm coming back I'm not gonna be posting near as often as I was, which was like twice a week, but it will be more often than not at all. I can guarantee that. <laughs> I've dearly missed doing this, and when I joined this jam, I hadn't made a game in a while, and it definitely reinvigorated that like spark I have for game development, so it, I'm really glad I took part in this. Oh boy, we're getting so close. All right, and it works. With that finished, I added the points system to it, and I changed the color from that blue because that's impossible to see. I also changed the start time because testing was a real pain, starting with the whole minute. Next, I added a special pumpkin that will give you two points instead of one. The placeholder is just a red square, but it's, it's a pretty special pumpkin, trust me. And here it is in action, giving me more points. The obvious next step was to add some juice. So I made this object in the middle, called it the shaker and every time you click it shakes the screen now i wanted to add some excitement to the game and i thought what's more exciting than a power up and for some reason i had the idea for a bullet with butterfly wings the world is a vampire so i toyed around with this bad boy for a minute and while it doesn't necessarily look good it will be small enough that no one will notice i did even have a comment from someone asking if it was a tractor so yeah maybe not my best work in the end but I like it. Then I had it move up the screen because it couldn't really just like appear like the pumpkins do. And I think it's rather nice. Then I had it spawn throughout the playthrough at random intervals uh, to keep boosting up that score. At this stage, it still didn't do anything. So what I did from here is when you touch it, it'll destroy it and it'll add one to what I call the multiplier global variable. Uh, and that just multiplies how many points you get. So every time you tap a pumpkin, you get one point times the multiplier global variable. Now, let's see this bad boy in action. Look at that score go. Riveting. Pumpkin time. I've never really drawn a pumpkin, I don't think, but I figured it's like a basketball, but doesn't taste as good. Yeah, and making the outline white was the worst possible idea because I had to go back and recolor all the outline i did go back and do a white outline and i did uh what we in the biz call a double outline which isn't really like preferred for round objects it's more for like sharp edges but yeah whatever it's my pumpkin my rules then gave it this cute little stem and gave it the old double outline then came the shading uh I was really happy with the way the shading came out on this, really. I didn't really focus too much on like a light source or anything like that. I just kind of went with the shape, uh, kind of followed the outlines, didn't make it anything like too crazy. Gave it some highlights. I followed the same basic technique when I was highlighting. Just, again, not really too concerned with lighting, just wherever I felt like it would be most correct looking i guess here we have it in game and i think it looks pretty good now it's time for my special little pumpkin 
I didn't really know what I was going to do. I knew, obviously, I was going to try and draw Billy Corgan's face. I've never tried to make, like, a person that looks like an actual person. Uh, unfortunately, Billy Corgan is pretty much a blank slate. He's just kind of bald and doesn't have facial hair, so... This nose doesn't stay for too long. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Wii nose from, like, one of your old Wii characters. But, yeah, I wanted to get, like, the basic idea of a face being there. And, uh, then, yeah, I did some reference. Found Billy and realized how wrong I was about this face. Which, uh, I didn't know he had eyebrows. I got it to the point where it looks pretty much nothing like Billy Corgan, and I'm pretty happy with that. As proud as I was of how everything had gone thus far, I did need some particles. I wanted some, some excitement in this game. Because being a rock star is exciting stuff. I would assume at least. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I uh, did some outlines on here. Went with the old double edge technique again. Because I'm a rebel. So here are these bad puppies in action. I think it looks pretty good. Had some fun little flare. But that bullet was rather boring. So you gotta make a bullet particle too. I decided to go with a bunch of tiny bullets with butterfly wings because I'm very creative but it's funny because it's not like anyone would ever notice what in the world it is obviously the actual thing someone thought was a tractor and these particles are teeny tiny but it was fun I enjoyed it so take that look at them sweet little babies all right let's check them out in game well that didn't work Oh yeah, I like that. That's nice. I wanted to give the game some ambiance, you know, really set the mood. So uh, I kind of fooled around with these backgrounds. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I don't really think it matches, honestly, especially like looking back at it, but you know, whatever, it's neat. And of course, a favorite of any game developer is creating a menu. That's why we never put it off to the end. Uh, yeah, I essentially just copied the same background, same effects from the other part, and uh, I'd gone into Adobe Express and made this pretty dope little just title card. While normally I try to do all my sound effects in-house, uh, for this I figured I'm going Smashing Pumpkins, I might as well go all out. So I sampled a few parts from various Smashing Pumpkins songs. Uh, and put them in as the sound effects for the game. Uh, there was like this disarm one, which I tried to do some like pitch modulation, but in all actuality, it sounded terrible. Uh, yeah, there's like a nice little bullet with butterfly wings for the bullet with butterfly wings. Thought that was kind of nice. So yeah, there you go. There's the fixed one. It sounds a lot better. Even though it can get super repetitive, the other one just sounded weird and I hated it, so I'd rather just hear the real thing. Then I watched this tutorial by about saving a high score, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't get it to work. So while it will save your high score, like as you continue to play it, if you get out of it and come back, it'll reset your high score to zero, which I know is a huge bummer to everyone who's been so excited about the release of this game like two weeks ago at any rate i made this which doesn't actually even fit the size for itch so now it says the billy corgan experience he gam however with that i had just enough time to submit that bad boy and come in 26th place not bad considering there were 51 submissions well thanks